All right, guys, so in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to scale our go-kart. This is probably one of the more important things you do when you're setting up your go-kart. If the weight distribution around your go-kart isn't proper, a lot of the other changes we've gone through just won't work the way they're supposed to. One side of the go-kart will be fighting the other, the front will be fighting the back. So when you scale your go-kart, what you want is you want equal weight distribution from right to left. So you want the, the right side of your go-kart to weigh the same as the left side of your go-kart as well as you would like 40% of the weight to be in the front and 60% of the weight to be in the rear. So a little unequal between front to back, but left to right we want to be equal. And this can be somewhat difficult for grassroots racers and uh, privateers trying to do things on their own. To get a scale set, professional scale set, you're looking at a thousand plus dollars and then you need to buy the stand for it all and it's, it's just extremely expensive. And if you don't buy all that yourself, you would have to take it to someone and have them do it for you that has all that equipment. So what I've gone and done is I actually built myself my own scaling setup. So I grabbed a piece of plywood and I just cut some two by fours and I mounted these bolts in the bottom of these two by fours and I use these as each of the platforms under all four wheels. And then what I'll do is I'll grab these bolts and I can just put these bolts in here. just like that. And then I can set these under all the wheels of my go-kart. And what you'd wanna do, and why I've actually put these bolts in the bottom, is you'll get a level. And you'll wanna make sure each of these platforms are level before you go to scale your go-kart. So right now, this thing's nowhere near level. Let's see if we can get it a little closer. But you get the idea. And we'll actually, I'll, I'll move the camera and I'll show you how I set this up and, and we'll put the go-kart down on top of it. But having each of these bolts allows me to get a level and just assure that this is gonna be square when we go to scale the go-kart. And what I'll do is I'll just put a level on top of it and just make sure each one of these platforms is level. And then what I'll do is I'll just get a normal bathroom scale. And you'll wanna get the dial type scale, you don't want a digital scale because you'll set your go-kart down on it. It'll read the weight and then the, the scale will turn off on you so you won't know what the weight is. So you'll want to get a dial scale and then you just set this on each of these platforms on the ground to make sure everything's completely level. Set your go-kart on top of it and from there we can start trying to make sure the weight's distributed around the cart. So it's pretty simple. These bathroom scales I just picked up at uh, Walmart. They were pretty cheap. I think they were less than 15 bucks each. And then I built all these stands at Home Depot for, for probably about 20, 30 bucks as well. So instead of spending thousands of dollars on a professional setup, I've got this setup that I've built myself that I can use here at the house. And I don't need to take my go-kart to have someone scale it for me. So this is something you're really only gonna need to do initially when you first get your go-kart. And since you do it so rarely, that's why it's hard to justify the price tag of getting a professional rig and spending a thousand plus dollars to potentially scale your go-kart once every couple of years. I'd say unless you're getting a new seat or putting in a new motor, there's, there's really no reason to scale your go-kart again after you've initially scaled it, unless something drastically changes. So for us, what we're gonna do, we actually picked up a new motor this year which is why we're gonna actually scale our go-kart. I figured I'd take the opportunity to show you guys the process we go through. Being we did get a new motor, I'm gonna wanna go through and make sure that our weight distribution doesn't change. So I'll reposition the camera. I may time-lapse me setting all these stands up. It is kind of a tedious process going through and adjusting all these bolts and making sure everything's level. And what I do is I put up one, one of these platforms first and then I'll do the other one next to the side of it. 
And what I'll do is I'll, I'll put my four foot level across just to make sure that they're all level. And I'll do that one at a time. And then I'll put a level across and an X as well just to make sure everything's completely level before we set the go-kart down onto it. So I made time lapse. It'll probably be kind of boring watching me crawling around on the floor. So let me reposition the camera and I'll show you how we get this done. All right, so now that we got our cart on the scales, we're gonna need to get our driver to jump in there. And you're gonna want your driver to have all their race gear on, anything they're gonna be wearing while they're on the track, you're gonna want them to put on so we can get as accurate of a weight as possible. So what I've gone and done is I've actually drilled holes in the seat here on the side, as well as I've got three holes drilled in the back. That's normally where I try to put my weight when we're, when we're getting this thing scaled. Another thing you'll notice is I've actually taken out all the fuel from the gas tank. And I do that because I wanna get this thing set up so that if you scale your go-kart and it's completely out of gas, you're still gonna make weight. That way, any gas you put in there, you know you're gonna be above weight and that way you're not coming in light and getting disqualified. So what I'll do is I'll just grab the weights and I'll place those over the bolts Just like that, we won't tighten anything down quite yet. We'll get a couple weights on here. Just like that, and I'll throw one on the back too, just to kind of get an idea on where we're gonna be at. Okay, so now that we've got a few weights on there, what we'd wanna do is we're gonna to wanna to check the scales and make sure that we're pretty close to being even from the left to the right side. And then we've got 40% of the weight in the front versus the back. So this front one is currently reading, it looks like about 65. And this other one is reading about 68. So that's, that's pretty close. And in the back we've got 93 on that side and we've got about 100 on this side and this side it's going to be kind of heavier because that's the side of the motor so what we're going to want to do is we'll actually try to get a little more weight over here onto the left side of the cart to compensate for that motor So I'll just kind of set some weight on this side before I bolt it all down and just see if we can get it evened out. And that's a little bit closer. I'll probably take about another five pounds over here on this side. There we go, 98. And just a little over 100. So you're definitely gonna wanna take this out to the track and use the track skill to get your final weight, but we can kind of estimate where we're gonna be. So I'll add these up real quick. So we've got 68 right there, plus we've got 98 on this side, 
plus. Looks like about 102 over here on this side. Plus, looks like at about 69 on this side. So initially that, that's coming up at 337 pounds. I think we may actually need to weigh 360 for the class we're running this year. Um, one thing to note, I don't have the exhaust for our motor that we're gonna be running on here, as well as, you know what, I can actually throw this in and this is gonna help this side as well. We're gonna end up having a battery on this side and that's gonna add a little bit of weight too. So that's essentially the process. Just make sure when you do this that you get these scales perfectly level and then you're gonna wanna try to offset the weight that's on the motor side over here onto the left side. You don't want all your weight on one side of the go-kart. So when you put these weights on, you're gonna to try to get as many weights on the opposite side of the motor as possible. And it's really just as simple as that. You can build these cart scale platforms for real cheap instead of going and buying an official set. And this is gonna get you close to where you'll actually be competitive and then the changes that you actually make when we're, when we're tuning our chassis are actually gonna work for you the way you want them to work. So take your time, get your cart scaled properly and have a good time at the track.